Friday evening. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, it, so that was a, a, a big driving factor in us kind of doing what we're doing today is that, you know, I was, I was kind of missing what was going on at home. I was kind of missing all the kids kind of first things and, and, um, uh, you, you know, so that, that was, you know, kind of the, the driving force behind all of this. This is Seclo Sounds, and you can listen to us by clicking Listen Live on our homepage at seclosounds.org for a choice of players. Via TuneIn Radio at www.tunein.com, search for Seclo Sounds and listen online or download the TuneIn app. You can download the Seclo Sounds iPhone app from the iTunes App Store, and you can listen to us on demand at our replay page. You're listening to part two of the John Gwynn Travel Show Review of 2014. In a moment, we'll be finding out how you should choose a suitcase when we speak to some butlers to find out how to pack correctly. But at the moment, we're still talking to CJ and Andrea, the travelling chimps, and just before the break, we were finding out why they decided to move out of the corporate world and start travelling, and we're just going to expand a little bit on that now. So they were wondering who you were at the weekend. Is that what was happening? Yeah, actually, my do- <laughs> the, the breaking point was my daughter said... Where does Daddy actually live? Uh, <laughs> that's a bit of a killer. Yeah, yeah, and I said, "Oh, we have to change something here." Yeah, yeah. So that was the moment that made you decide you needed to change. Yeah. How did? What was your reaction of your friends and family? Well, overwhelmingly positive, actually. Yeah. 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 I think at first both our moms were a little confused. They kept saying, mm-hmm. "I don't really get it. I don't. I don't get it. What are you doing?" Yeah, they did. They didn't understand. Did you have any? Sorry, go on. I was going to say, you know, I, I you know, we, 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 we did our, our first blog post about our decision to do this. And that was kind of how we unveiled this whole thing to the world. Mm-hmm. And, and it really, you know, overwhelmingly was a positive, positive response. The only negative response that I'm aware of was a friend or a client of my mother's. And, and, she, you know, she, you know, kind of made some, I, I think it was more of like a homeschooling sort of remarks to my mom. And then my mom didn't understand it. So my mom kind of, you know, took it kind of weird and came to me saying, well, I'm just not going to tell people what you're doing. And I, I'm thinking, well, that, that's a really silly way of going through life. right? I mean, <laughs> yeah. Hiding on. what your son's Hiding, doing. You know, come on, it's just one person. So a week later, my, my mom had a, a friend over who is very I don't know, new agey, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she, she, we walked in the door and she was giving us hugs and telling us how, what a great thing we were doing. And I think that really kind of eased the tension with my mother, at least my father. I didn't even tell him we were doing it. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. So everybody is quite positive, but did you have any negative thoughts of your own? Yeah. Yeah. So I think on our own. So initially, You know, Andrea has been sort of the driving force behind the whole um, house sitting and pet sitting piece. And, you know, she went on and set up these these accounts with a couple different um, providers, I guess, or websites. And the 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 one I think the one we've had the most luck with is is uh, trusted Trusted house sitters. And our first our first um, kind of foray down that. Uh, we, we put in for one of them. I don't even remember what it was, but we put in for for a house sit, and the, the homeowner got back to us and said, you know, the uh, the response has been overwhelming, and you know, we we got We need to take some time and go through all the applicants, and we'll get back to you. So, you know, my my immediate response is, this isn't going to work. We you got know? a few of those too. It was like time yeah. and time again. We kept applying and applying, and we didn't find any. Yeah. So and I'm, they kept saying, "Oh, we have hundreds of applicants," and we were like, "Uh oh." I was like, Man, there's, there's, I was like, there's, there's a, a lot, lot of yeah, there's a lot of competition out here. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then all of a sudden, yeah, all of a sudden we just started nailing them. We just started getting them left and right. We got them to the point where we were actually we were turning, turning them, them away. Down. Yeah. Because we we they just didn't our dates were overlapping and it didn't work out. And I, you know I really think that that us doing this as a family, a lot of people. Are, are comfortable with that. They know that we're not going to come into your house and destroy it or throw parties yeah. or, you know, we have kids. Now, I will say, too, that it's hurt us a few times, too. Yeah. Certainly, we've had a, a, a couple where we've applied and the person said, well, my dog's not really good with kids, so it probably wouldn't be a good fit, which I appreciate because yeah. I'd, rather, I'd rather not go in there and have issues with a dog. 
This is Seclo Sounds. Join us every Wednesday at 7 p.m. for one hour in the company of Harry and Edna on the wires, exploring all aspects of the vintage scene and playing tip-top gramophone tunes. Harry and Edna on the wireless, Wednesdays at 7 p.m. on seclosounds.org. Jolly good. Hi, blessings to each and every one of you. Join me, Darren Hoy, with the Reggae Takeover Show for two hours of the finest reggae vibes, each and every Wednesday, 9 through to 11 p.m., here on Seclo Sounds. Don't miss out on your weekly Sunshine Fix, featuring Roots, Rude Boy, Dub, Lover's Rock, Scar, One Drop, and much, much more. So go on, give your sound system a treat. Join me, wind down low, and skank the night away. One love. That's Wednesdays, 9 through to 11 p.m., live on Seclo Sounds. <laughs> You're listening to the John Green Travel Show on setclosounds.org. I'm focusing quite a lot on the Travelling Chimps during my review of 2014 Part 2, basically because people always dream about travel, so I wanted to share as much about the interview I did with them back in oh, August as I can in this one review show. And two, they were very enthusiastic and upbeat people and it was great to talk to them. So we're just going to have a little bit more from them about how they were planning to get around and what they managed to see and do, sometimes by accident. So so when you were putting all this together, Andrea found the websites and stuff, but what other planning did you do and what resources did you use to plan your trip across the the, uh, country? Well, I think we went to um, My Scenic Drives to find like a route to go go to get us to happy camp and that let me put in like all different spots where i knew we would want to stop and let the kids see and sightsee and things like that so that was fantastic because it it gave us a big guideline of how to get across (laughs) and and being able to stop where we wanted to stop Mm -hmm. and then we used um priceline express deals like crazy to get us from that one destination to the next before you set off, did you have a list of top five goals about what once you, what you wanted to achieve when you did this trip? Um, not not really, to be real honest with you. Um, we obviously we knew that we needed to be across the country to California by whatever date it was to do our first house set. Um, other than that, though, we really um, we really kind of fly by the seat of our pants. Most days, most days in between house sets when we're driving. Most days we don't even know where we're going to sleep that night until six, seven o'clock, maybe mm-hmm. an hour before we actually check in. Yeah. Um, so no, no, but that, that's an excellent question because I mean I really feel like people probably should set goals and write goals down so you mm-hmm. know work towards them to accomplish them. Um, but I mean to be real honest with you, we didn't really have that. Well, I think one of our goals is to break out of the box, to break out of the mold of nine to five and. Mm-hmm buying a house and buying more stuff and more stuff and more stuff yeah, for what? That's true. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. I think we wanted to pay more attention to having experiences in our life and enjoying our kids and, mm-hmm. and breaking out of the mold of all that and of everybody telling us you have to do this. You have to, you know, buy a house and, and have a, all this fancy cars and yeah, we, I mean, really go we, to work to buy more stuff. We didn't want to do mm-hmm. that anymore. Right. I mean, we, we really, uh, we didn't want to. We don't. We don't want to wait till we retire to go see the world. We want to see the world now while we're able and capable of actually really exploring it. You know. Mm-hmm. So I mean, we were in Grand Canyon, and I remember having a conversation with an older gentleman from Pittsburgh. Awesome, awesome guy. But he was having breathing issues, and he wasn't able to walk out onto the little peninsula there to get a real bird's eye view of the canyon. Mm-hmm. And I felt really bad about that. Well, he said it too. He said you should do it now. Yeah. While you're young and able to, you know, go experience everything you can and have all the stamina you have, he said, I wish I used, I did that yep. instead of waiting. Yep, I agree. Do it all now. Yeah. I once uh, saw a documentary going a little bit off track about French families. It, a lot of French families sell up and buy a yacht and sail around the world with their kids just so their kids can experience different cultures and stuff. And that's always seemed a really cool thing to do. Yeah, that's an excellent thing to do. Yeah, I mean, I mean we've uh, we've we've 
got a pretty good following on social media and whatnot. And there's a number of people doing that exact, that exact thing. Mm-hmm. And I think that's awesome. Really I think awesome. that's our next thing too, is to leave the United States and, and go explore other places so that our kids can see other, other ways other of life and, and other cultures and yeah. just to experience life. I mean, there's more to life than just this one spot. Yeah, yes, definitely. You've already said you've had one surprise with the Sioux Falls and South Dakota, you said, didn't you? Yeah. All right. mm. yeah. Has there been any other surprises that have caught you out since you left in February? Yeah, yeah, there has. So so as much as we fly by our pants, sometimes that is kind of bit us in the butt, I yes. guess you could say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So in, in, in it's one fun, instance, but sometimes you yeah. need to plan a little bit. Yeah, so yeah. I guess I guess um when there's big things that we want to go witness or or check out, I think we need to do a little bit better job of of uh of researching it and and why I say that is one of our big stops on our first trip across the United States was to stay in Yellowstone. So we left uh, Rapid City, South Dakota, mm-hmm. and we headed for Cody, Wyoming to stay the night there. And that was, I don't know, just, just outside of the uh, eastern gate of Yellowstone. Mm-hmm. So we check in at like 11 o'clock at night. And I, yeah, I, say, I say to the kid or the kid, I call him a kid, mm-hmm. he's an old, he was an older guy, uh, to, the, to, the, uh, to this old guy as I'm checking in. He's like, what are you doing here? And I said, well... We're going to go to Yellowstone tomorrow. And he said, sir, Yellowstone's closed. I'm like, really? And he said, yeah, it's snowed closed. That's not going to open. The roads aren't going to open for another four weeks. He said the road is covered with 15 feet of snow. Unless you have a snowmobile with you, you're not going to get anywhere. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. So basically we drove to Cody, Wyoming to go to, uh, to, go to Yellowstone for absolutely no reason. Yes. So we never oh. made it. No. Well, nope. still plenty of time. Exactly. Oh, yeah. we'll, we'll make our back. way back. We'll but still, back. that was our one thing. Like, We love flying by the seat of our pants and, and just mm-hmm. to, you know waiting to see what happens and finding things. Well, we but... had a similar experience at the Grand Canyon as well. Yeah. We, dro- we drove oh, into right. to the North Rim <gasps> thinking that we were just going to basically make a right-hand turn and drive straight down the canyon. Yeah. But that's not how it works. No. You have to drive about eight hours around the top of the canyon <laughs> to go down to the other end of the canyon. <laughs> So again, we didn't do any research, just flying yeah. by the seat of our pants. Mm-hmm. And it, and it we drove us. a few hours in the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to see some in you, didn't you? So it's not. Oh, really yes, it was, we ended uh, up seeing lots of animals we wouldn't have seen. Uh, <laughs> absolutely, yeah, yeah. But sometimes some things surprise us that are great. We were mm-hmm. we were driving on the California coast, and CJ just spotted something out of his corner of his eye, so we pulled off the highway, and there was thousands of elephant seals all beached on the coast right there, right beside mm-hmm. you. And there was just millions incredible. of them. It was incredible. And they were making all these noises. And, oh, it's just fantastic. Which makes for an incredible road schooling opportunity for the kids. Yeah. That beats watching it on YouTube, doesn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You can contact us. Or just keep up to date with travel news at facebook.com slash Show. This is Seclo Sounds, your community radio station. If you'd like to volunteer some of your time and skills with Seclo Sounds, send an email to volunteers at seclosounds.org and let us know how you would like to be involved. MK Flyers Online, the fast and simple way to find any kind of business or service locally. Find us at mkflyersonline.co.uk or download the MK Flyers mobile app from your app store. MK Flyers Online proudly supports Seclo Sounds, community radio for Milton Keynes. The John Green Travel Show, checking it out before you check in on seclosounds.org.